Hi everybody, welcome. This is Debbie with Studio MD and Thursday shenanigans. It's one of my favorite, favorite days of the whole week because we get to do something completely different and fun. And uh, today we're definitely going to be doing something fun. Joanne White, again, apple for the teacher, teacher's pet, first, first one on. Appreciate it because there's nothing else to do in Canada apparently. Uh, hi Joyce, hi Michelle. Let me, I'm trying to get, um, gosh, today. Does it seem like I say this every day? Every day's like a crazy day. Uh, hi everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here I go, oops. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I got on them. You guys, these glasses are so big. I just wanna say it again. They're great glasses, I love them, but they are so big. Hi Cheryl. They're so big, and hi, Mary, hi, Robin, uh, hi, Diana, uh, good one, hi, Diane. Uh, anyway, they're so big, and they're a little flimsy, I'm not gonna lie. They would not work for prescription, so I got these. It, I thought it was called v Vogue Me, but it's Vogue, V-O-O-G-U-E-Me.com. Uh, hi, Shirley Beckett, hi, Janine, and hi, Sarah. And um, so I don't, I don't recommend putting, hi Annette, I don't recommend putting prescription frames in them, but I do recommend, especially if you have a big head, I do recommend them as readers. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. I did order, there was some black and white check ones somewhere. Hi, hi Maribel, hi Nancy, uh, Pete Shrek. Oh, yay, well welcome to our live, welcome to our live TV show. Uh, hello, my distant cousin, Kelly C. Lover. Uh, Robin Wilhelm, hi. Hi, Janice, up with you. Hi, Mary Mom. Okay, guys, I, I tried to just put it in the little foreground. She never contacted me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, I'm not even gonna say her name. Well, I can now because I feel so bad. Hi, Allison. Hi, G. Or Joe, okay, this, no, it's Jean. Okay, this is getting funny. Um, hi, Janet. So get excited, you guys. Deanna, Kathy Spang, get excited, everybody, just in case. Hi, Kay. Uh, Shannon Diggins for, oh, that's cute, Shannon Diggins. I wish my name was Shannon, because, oh, how fun would that be? Thursday, Shannon Diggins. That would have been cute, but I, well, my name's Debbie, so Debbie Diggins, it doesn't really, doesn't, it's not as catchy as the other way. Okay, so anyway. Oh, Fran, you ordered a tuffet from my mom. Great. Hi, Ma uh, Molly. <laughs> Happy Thursday to you. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. Um, we're going to have some guest visitors today. Uh, my mom and I did get the leopard and uh, da, 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 something from Amazon. Oh, great. Hi, Christy. Oh, gosh, gosh, Christy, you're not working right now, so that's good. Hi, Rose. Uh, anyway, yeah. Okay, it was Brooke Hashem, one of our Czech Savvy sisters who's been with us forever. I adore her, and I feel terrible. I, I wanted so desperately to contact her today. Hi, Pat. Uh, hi, Ellen. You're on your way home from Hobby Lobby, Eastern 90% off. I know. You guys, I was there yesterday. They had one of the big finials, and I didn't get it because it was still like 50 bucks, and I thought, oh, I'll just go back tomorrow when it's on sale. Yeah, it's already gone. I, I know better. It's my own fault. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, hey Christy, uh, Kathy Spang, I need you or Kelly to be on top of the comments today. I've already got stuff going on, Melissa, hi. Uh, hi Kristen, you must not be working or, you know, out and about today. Anyway, you guys, she never got back to me. Guess what's up for grabs again today? This is getting crazy. Uh, you were getting ready to bail and jump in the shower. No, Chris, hang out. Hang in for just a minute. Hi, Sandra. Um, okay, Paget, Connie, we get it. I think, is it Connie Paget? Let me know because I feel so stupid that I've been calling you Paget all this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Linda, thank you, Connie. Hi, Jean. Hi, Marcel. Okay, let's go. I've got so much to do today to get to, get to for us today because I've got such a cute project. Um, uh, yeah, let's do the giveaway so whoever wants to bail can bail. And then we're going to talk about how great today at 11 o'clock was. And then I'm going to show you some other things. 
and then we're gonna get to our project. So I promise it won't be forever, but you know, get a drink, settle in. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hot minute or two. Okay, the sign's back up for grabs. Brooke, I am so, so sorry. My heart is breaking. I wanted you to have it so bad, but um, we made a rule and this is the rule. You now have 24 hours to get back to us. And if you don't, we're gonna give it away again. And what in the world made me not throw this away? I have no idea because normally, especially with somebody like Brooke, I was like, oh yeah, I'm sure she was already on there. Um, she must have seen it already. So here we go. Um, thank you, Robin. Yeah, it's really cute. I'm not even going to bother with, um, you know, I'm not going to say her name. It begins with an A. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Deborah McCurdy, do I need to? Okay. Alexa, drum roll, please. Louder. Oh, she didn't do it. Alexa, drum roll, please. Could you hear it? it wasn't very loud, but it was there. All right, I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. Okay, all right, here we go, you guys. Uh, this is for <laughs> number two, happy spring sign. Come on, you guys. Uh, here we go. All right, all right, here it is. All right, here we go. Gina, Giamo, G, uh, I don't know how to say it. Gina, Jam Jamo, Jamo, Gina Jamo. Yes, Gina Jamo. Uh, we're all gonna hang out literally right here for the next 24 hours to see if you respond because this is getting ridiculous. Um, okay, Gina Giam Giamma. I don't even watch. I have no idea. Gina, if you're here, raise your hand. It's getting exhausting, isn't it, you guys? If you're not here, you've got, thank you, Robin. If you're, if you're not here, Deborah Harris, you're here. Well, I wish you'd won, because you would have you would have won it. Uh, she does not, no, Alexa gets mad. She really does. There are days that I know she just messes with me. You guys, tomorrow is absolutely my day off because I'm helping with this wedding thing all weekend. But if I have to come back here at 2.30 and announce another winner because we never hear from Gina. I, I'm gonna be a happy camper. So come on, Gina, come on. Let us know you're here. If you're not, swear, I swear to you, we're gonna draw another winner tomorrow. This is insane. All right, let me put this away because I feel good about Gina, but aren't you guys proud of me? I really wanted Brooke to have it because she's been with me for so long, but I'm a woman of my word. That's who I am. Okay, you guys, so Gina, if you're anywhere in the world, got 24 hours. That's it, 24 hours, and we're moving on. Okay, you guys remember the other day when I was working on this little thing? It was uh, Product Testing Tuesday, so it's just, Gina's here? Oh, Gina, please be here, please be here, please be here. Uh, Gina, if you're here, say so. Uh, I need to see, I need to see it with my eyeballs. Um, okay, so anyway, you guys, the other day, um, we were doing product testing Tuesday. Gina, you're here. You want something. Yay. Okay. All right. Everybody let go of the happy spring sign. It's gone. It's been accounted for. So I was doing product testing Tuesday. Remember we tested all kinds of Dixie Bell Boss stuff on the bottom. Yay. 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 Okay. Well, then we put this transfer on. That was another thing we did. You guys, I finished it and isn't it darling. So I just polka dotted the legs checked the rest of the top, went around there, and uh, the metallic gold on the sides, polka dot, I still haven't finished the bottom, but how cute did this thing turn out? And guess what else I did? I sealed it with a, um, what do you call, engine enamel, so that, I mean, you can put anything on it and it will last forever. How cute would this be on your counter with your, you know, your oils, your brand new salt and pepper shaker that you just painted? Yeah, I just did that this morning. Literally, I shouldn't even say this morning. I did it while I was watching Debbie uh, take over our page, Check Savvy Sisters today. Isn't, aren't these adorable? These were in one of my tea sets and I forgot I even had them. So I painted them to go with, hold on. I painted them to go with, look at this you guys, the rest of my tea set, which if I haven't shown you, these tea sets were so adorable. And you guys know, you can now take the class, 
whenever. The class is back on our website and you can take it whenever you want. It will always be available for you to buy. Uh, and if you have already paid for it, it's available to you forever on our website. How great is that? But oh, look at this, you guys. Is this not spectacular? And it will be in our auction. May 2nd is our auction. So you guys, get these, get a little tea set, take our class, take our tutorial. It is, I mean, it's the bomb. Everybody's been so happy and so excited about it. So thank you so much for those hearts. I appreciate it. Um, Callie, as long as you're on, somebody said, we've got to figure out what those stars are for and how we do it. So I kind of know what they're for. And it seems weird to me. It seems like you're, you know, donating to Walk for Wishes or something. But it, I kind of am. I kind of am a, a project, that, a charity, a whole thing. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be up for um, sale in our auction. Excited about that. And it's going to be with the salt and pepper shaker, which, by the way, they don't work. <laughs> I tried. I think they were a thousand years old, and there must be um, salt and pepper, like, stuck in them. I can hear it but I can't get it out, so anyway. All right, hold on, let me move this carefully. That's all I need to do is break everything before auction. Okay, there's that. Now I have to show you one more, no, two more things. Okay, so remember our, um, oh, doggone it, it's over there. Anyway, the, um, the next thing we're doing on May 13, thank you for all those hearts, you guys. The next thing we're doing on May 13, yes, Kay, uh, I missed it, but Kay's already signed up. The next thing we're doing is our cake plate class. And I told you guys that there was um, the, uh, the base of the cake plate that's in the picture that I showed um, online and um, on our supply list and everything is smaller and it's just not great. Well, this I went and bought, it's solid wood. This is the one that's on our supply list now. This is the one not in the picture on our supply list. This is actually, hold on, I gotta move this away because every time I move, I can hear, see it shaking. Um, so this is actually the one that we have a link for. This is from, I need to change the date in back of you. Oh gosh, I do. <laughs> that's how busy I am, thank you. Who was that, Vicki? Thank you for keeping me on top of my toes 24 seven. Anyway, look at how amazing this candlestick is. So this is, uh, Christy Pitch stars is at tips. Oh, wow. The stars are a tip, you guys. And I usually only, I would only expect at least 20% of the total that you're getting for this class. So let's say the class is worth zero to you. Surely you would give me like, you know, less than zero. Um, that's crazy. It's like a tip. So just, you know, once I was a cocktail waitress and I'm a big tipper. <laughs> All right, anyway, so you guys, this is the May 13 class. It's only, <laughs> I almost said it's only $13. It's only $19. So here's what you would get is on your supply list, you'll get everything you need to know how to paint one of these, any candle holder that you've got, okay? Hobby Lobby has the chargers. Gorgeous. So that could be a one and done. You could also go somewhere, get a cake plate, cake dome, and put that on top. And now it is, hold on, let me get my hand down a little bit lower. Spectacular. This candle holder is like two inches higher than our other one. So you can get a striped one. You could get a plain white charger or a gold one or whatever and paint it, but I got, this one was like a cream one. And so then you can paint the plate and the base. Okay, there's that. Or if you're kind of a farmhouse gal, how adorable is that? Even just that. And then you put that on top. So I'm just saying this thing is awesome. May 13, this class is only $19. Signups are available already on our website, www.studiomdaz.com. So go there and sign up for class. There's that. And I got one more thing to show you. Uh, the birthday gifts are still coming in. So remember, it's the whole month. Regarding the auction, you gather all of the items that, okay, I didn't go fast enough. 
or it went too fast. Um, I'm still getting gifts. Carol Davis, the lady who makes the purses that are incredible. Well, 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 now my friends, I have a Mackenzie Childs messenger bag to take to the casino with me. So this is, according to Carol, this is the small. You guys, these are so beautifully made. I'm not even kidding. They are absolutely gorgeous inside, all lined, but how adorable is this? So she has Louis Vuitton uh, type. She has this McKinsey Childs type. She has all kinds of them and they are fabulous. So if you're interested in these, go to uh, Check Savvy Sisters and you will find her post on those. Just put in, uh, you can do a search for like Carol Davis or Louis Vuitton or something like that. Oh, I'm exhausted already, you guys. Okay, wait till you see what we're doing today. So, let me get reorganized because I had so much to show you. So, remember the other day, I'm at that place called the Brass Armadillo. This is a little, it's a bench. It's a bench footstool. So, it is, I'm going to tell you how big it is just so you have an idea. It's like 16 inches. Um, so, one of the hinges was broken. And other than that, it was brand new. And it still has the tag on it. It's called Simply Shabby Chic. And I found it on um, Target Online. I paid $17.99 for it. It's on Target Online, not even kidding, for $450. And this still had the tag on it. I, yes. I, I, I need a high five on that one because that is, to me, when stuff like that happens, I'm so blown away. Now, the hinge was broken, so I couldn't have gotten 450. I couldn't even get 450 if I stand on my head and sell it with me involved. But what a smoking deal that was. So we're gonna completely redo it. And as you can see, if you saw the picture, the, um, the legs were just, I mean, the whole thing was just plain white. So what we're gonna do is, I've already started, I'm painting this part pink, just so you hang out with us. I always like to show you ahead of time what we're gonna do so that you can make the decision to leave or not, but I know when you leave. Just keep that in mind. So anyway, so I'm now, I just started, you know, for time purposes, I wanted to start getting stuff done ahead of time. So I started painting the little feet. I have started to um, like already pencil out the lines for the checks. So what I'm gonna do, wait till you see you guys, this is gonna be darling. So we're going to do a new cover on it. And a lot of you saw this fabric in my car yesterday because, oops, upside down. I, I don't know what it was about it, but I loved it. So we're gonna put this new fabric on it. I'm going to do a, Wait till you see, because it matches. Well, probably because it matched. I'm gonna do this Paris transfer <laughs> right here. And on the back, I don't know about the sides yet. I have to think that through and we'll know as we go. And we'll let you guys tell me. Um, we're going to black and white check these two parts. We're gonna do some of the metallic gold and not to be outdone by any other crafter in the entire universe. Then they've got this huge pom-pom trim now Hold on, my camera is, you know. Anyway, let's see, there we go. They've got this huge pom-pom trim at Hobby Lobby. And all of the trim was 50% uh, off. So I kept my receipt so I could show you guys what I paid for everything. So again, like 17 bucks for this, uh, you know, $400 footstool that's, I think just because it says shabby chic, but the trim was $10.99 a yard. I got two yards and it was half off. So I spent $10.99 on the um, trim, the pom-poms, and the, what? Oh, sorry, I was like, what did I get for $1.49? I got black black pom-pom uh, trim also for pillows. But the um, this fabric was only $9.99 a yard and it is really nice designer fabric. So, how exciting is this? So that's what we're doing today. Stripes on the sides. Okay, Kathy Hass, I like that idea. You should put handles on the sides. I love that idea and I just happen to have a ton. That's a great idea because you know how hard it is to always be picking stuff up 
Handles would be really cute. Now, like I said, I have some. Okay, well, let's get started. So, um, let's do the legs first, and then while the legs are drying, we will do everything else. Now, I've already done, have I done all the sides? I think so. Okay, I've already done all of the sides with, um, what's the easiest way for you guys to see? Let me see. Golda, you have the same one? Did you, um, did you pay $450, Golda? Because if you did, I'm, I'm impressed with you. Uh, or did you pay $17.99 like I did? Um, oh my gosh, my new big glue gun went out already. Hold on, let me put a new battery in it so that it's ready. Yep, not a fan, not a fan, you guys. Don't ever buy this one. And I have a battery charger and I keep recharging the batteries. There you go. It makes me look super professional, but then I look like an idiot because it never works. So I don't know about this one, you guys. I don't recommend it. Let me get my other battery charging because Lord knows I'm gonna need it. Okay, so I've already got um, those three done. Let me do, um, yeah, I think you guys can see good enough. It's not like $5 at Goodwill. Julie, did you really? Did you look if the inside tag says simply shabby chic? It's it's expensive, look it up, You're di you'll die. I was so floored. Okay, so I'm going back to Honeymoon Pink. I know we're not supposed to call it that, but somebody else did, so I'm gonna say it too. So I don't like the glue gun, that big glue gun, Joanne. I like the big glue guns, uh, but I don't like it because that one for some reason does not stay um, heated for very long. The battery just doesn't stay very long. And Debbie will be painting the other three. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna paint everything, you guys. So anyway, I'm back to the colors we used before, except I'm only using two of them now. I'm only using seashell pink and I'm using crushed, is that right? Crushed coral, I love this color. If you buy any pink, go buy crushed coral. And then I'll add a little bit of white to it also. But um, look at, it is just a perfect pink. And I'm not worrying about being perfect right here because I'm going to do the Martha Stewart or the liquid leaf. All right, I use the liquid leaf because I don't wanna make everybody jealous that I have a tiny bit more of that Martha Stewart left. Okay, so how cute is that? Where else did I put it? So I've got it, I think I've got, I wanna do the sides real quick in this pink. Um, and you can see all I'm doing is mixing the two colors together to give it interest, I've told you before, I never, ever, ever paint just one solid color because uh, when you're an artist like me, you don't do that. You do, uh, you mix all your colors. It just makes you feel really good about yourself and the money you've spent on any of your art classes. So, um, but it really does make a humongous difference in how you paint everything and how pretty it looks and just, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so I have all those done. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, oh, how convenient is this gonna be? I'll just have it right here. I'm gonna put some fresh paint on because I've had it on a while. Anyway, while I'm painting, and again, I, I always think, oh, I don't want them to have to watch me paint. Then today, I'm just sitting there watching Debbie paint, uh, Debbie Booker, which now we know is her real name. Uh, it's, uh, keep calling, I was calling her Boucher. She said Boucher, which is a thousand times even better than what I said. So, uh, anyway, uh, I figure, eh, you guys can either watch, cause I had, I mean, I was able to leave a couple times and come back right, come right back in. So, and start watching again. So I don't think it's a big deal that I worry about it. You guys, I mean, it's, you know, You've subscribed to my TV channel, so I guess you know what you're in for. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a drag, and I know you're gonna be like, well, why in the world are you doing a yellow drag on this, because it's pink? I'm doing it, because uh, that's what I like to do. And I don't do anything without a drag for that reason. I just like it. And like I said, if you don't, you don't have to do it. I just, I do. Uh, so when I'm doing stuff like this, I go ahead and do everything all at once also so that I am ready to just keep painting. I don't want to have to 
you know, keep going back and forth. One of these feet though, had like a separation on it where the wood kind of separated. So if you're new to our, um, if you're new to our show, this is just, uh, <laughs> this is just, we all love Mackenzie Child's uh, stuff here. She's a, well, not she, but the company, it's a designer company um, of home decor and stuff. And we love the style. And so we do a lot of things that will look very similar to her stuff. Okay, and that's it. That's all it needs is just that small amount. And I'm going to use a Zen brush. Let me grab one, a Zen level two number four, which is a super small size. It's small and it's got a flat head. Do you see that? And it's perfect for checking. So, um, I, I don't do anything with the drag on. It could be a great t-shirt. We're always talking about t-shirts. Okay, first of all, um, let's talk about, which way is the front? Let me see. This is the front. So let's make sure we get the front done. Let's talk about, oh, I know you're gonna yell at me. Every other one. So I'm doing stripes. Oh, no, 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 I was gonna do checks on that one. You know what, we'll do checks on the bottom. Uh, let's see, every other one. Uh, Debbie, is that right? Yeah, Debbie did a fantastic job today. Um, and I'm not speaking in third person. There was another person named Debbie that came on and took over my page today on Check Savvy Sisters. And if you're not on Check Savvy Sisters, go over there and join, answer our questions and uh, join. We have a lot more stuff on that page. Anyway, uh, she did a great job showing us all kinds of information on how to do transfers. And today we made a B t-shirt. And I don't know about you guys, but I went right over to her website and um, bought a whole bunch of stuff. And when I got there, there was a whole bunch of stuff missing already. Like a whole bunch of stuff was already out of stock. So I have a feeling we definitely show Debbie a lot of love today. And I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. But she did a fantastic job. She is super duper knowledgeable. So I asked her today if she would come here. I'm sorry if you're gonna get a lot of my head and my waist today, but this is a pretty big little thing. Um, I asked her if she'd be willing to come to my house and do a product testing Tuesday with me. So she shows me what to do and I do it. How great would that be? So, yeah, she has a lot of great stuff. I'm excited to get that t-shirt. So yeah, I ordered a bunch of stuff from her today. Of course, everything for us to play with. Uh, but I ordered, I went ahead and got some uh, Christmas stuff too. She had some really great plaid uh, Christmas tissue paper to use for decoupage, which I was thinking, um, I haven't told you guys this yet, but it would be a great idea. How cute is this? Where am I? Oh my God, you guys. This is like when she was doing it today and I'm like, move it over, move it up, do it, move it around. And we're all saying that and she can't see it because she's totally into it. All right, you guys, I promise you'll see all the, rest, <laughs> all the rest. All right, here we go. Now you'll see, now you'll get to see what I'm doing. That's hysterical. You guys are so funny. I need, I really do, I really should have Callie or somebody in my ears every time I'm doing this saying, um, hey, you're missing it. So I really enjoyed her. I enjoyed being one of the girls today. I enjoyed just getting to sit and watch. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice break. And I don't know how you guys don't comment through the whole thing, like constantly, or maybe you do and I'm, I've always got my head down, I don't notice it. But I couldn't stop commenting on everything because, um, I don't know, that's just fun for me to get to do that. All right, I know you still can't see, but now hopefully you will. Yeah. All right, so it's just like the checks. I just put my brush right on the line. That's why we use these little brushes. And then I pull straight down. And because we're using black, it's a one and done. And just so you guys know, this little stool is gonna be in the auction too. Everything I'm doing now until the auction 
is gonna be in the auction, which is going to be May 2nd. It's a Sunday. We're gonna start it at three o'clock my time. And um, we are going to do it like a regular auction. Somebody told me to go get a gavel, which I, I have already ordered. And uh, we are going to handle it like a regular auction. And uh, so it should be a lot of fun. And I'm gonna have quite a bit of help here to help me do it. So that hopefully we don't have any issues or, you know, idiot trolls or anything like that. But we won't, we're not, oh, for crying out loud. You guys saw what I just did, right? And nobody's saying a word. It's because I'm trying to do this upside down. I'm doing the opposite ones of the ones I checked, of the ones I marked. That's okay. And that's why you do it in pencil so that all I have to do now, I'm still fine. I just went and did the wrong ones because I was looking at it upside down and that is not easy. So I'll go back and erase those lines. And all right, here's a mark. Are we in it? Sorry, you guys, this is, uh, because this thing is so big, when I get done with the feet, I'll be able to concentrate on you guys more. But right now, I can't. Um, so Kathy and Callie, I hope that if there are questions, you guys are answering them. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to have Debbie back. Also, um, something else exciting, Kathy from Royal Funky Junk is gonna come on and do a class for us. And she has a tutorial that is so awesome. And so she's going to come and do a craft for us and then we are going to really promote her tutorial. It's on how to make your own humongous crown. Not even kidding. And it is so spectacular. And I went and bought all this stuff to do it yesterday so that I can practice it first and make sure it's something that uh, would be, you know, something easy that you guys could all do, which I think it is. So anyway, that's exciting. And then Christy from Christy's Crafty Cottage, she's gonna come and do a class for us too. And um, I've asked um, Shars Art, you're uh, uh, I'm planning on painting my little kitchen table. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, this is going to be so adorable. You know, like always, I'm gonna have to go back and clean everything up, so don't judge if my lines are all screwy right now. It's just because I'm trying to do this, um, you know, kind of in a hurry and upside down, two of my least favorite things in the whole world. Um, how funny was yesterday, you guys, that I knew I wasn't gonna make it home, so. All right, and I promise when I do the candlestick class, you'll learn how to do all this stuff, but um, we'll do it, you know, we'll do it a little bit more professional and dignified than I'm doing it right now. I'm just trying to, my whole point was really not to show you how to do the checks today because Thursday shenanigans were not even supposed to be painting. My point today was to show you more how to transform again the, like the top part of this little bench. So we might have surprise guests today. My mom and Gail Richards, one of our Czech Savvy sisters, is out and about today together. And um, they were gonna stop by and say hi. So hopefully they do, we'll see. She said if they did, it would be sometime between like three and 3.30, so we'll see. Okay, so now we've got, um, and like I said, if these lines look horrendous, don't worry about it. I will clean them all up. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. And it won't be messy when I'm done with it, as you know. Uh, so I'm just gonna do all these little feet. Just take me a second, because they're just so little. Uh, and I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing right now, but uh, I wanna talk about one other thing that came up this week. So um, we have, as you guys, most, most of you know, we have three different pages. We have 
Studio MDAZ, which is what you guys are on right now. This page is where it's like our main business page. It's the parent company, so to speak, of our other Facebook pages. And on this page, anything we do is generally to help us attract more business, to be totally frank. So the reason why I'm doing all the lives and do everything on this page is usually for that reason. This is gonna be so cute, you guys. Um, Check Savvy Sisters is where we share all of the things that we learn when we take classes or when anybody is doing something that they just wanna share with us. Or if you are a crafter or you sell stuff or whatever it is, that's what the Check Savvy Sisters page is for. So you go over there and join, oh gosh, go over there and join us on that page. Can you guys now, you're starting to see it, aren't you? Go over there on that page and join us and that's what that page is for. And no, I didn't mark off which boxes to, um, to do the black paint in, you guys, because you saw how much that didn't work for me the last time. It normally does. I just, I got too much to think about right now. Anyway, Check Savvy Live is our, our third page. The only thing that page is for is when we are teaching a class that's a paid for class. That's where everybody goes to Check Savvy Live. That video is up there for three days and the only people that can get in are the people that have paid for that class. At the end of the three days, we delete everything off of that page, we kick you all out, and that video goes on to your tutorials that are, you've paid for on your area on our website. So we have a lot of people trying to get into Check Savvy Live all the time. It's not your fault, it's just that you didn't know, nobody knows what it is. And uh, so just so you know, that's a page that you will only be invited into. You will never, you, you don't need to ask to join it uh, because for the most part, we'll never let you join it. So I just want you to know if you don't ever get in or if you see something that says you've been declined, um, that's why it's just for people that have paid for a class. And also once you've paid for a class, uh, we have a lot of people that try and invite their friends to join that page also. And I know it's because you don't know that they have to pay for it too, or maybe it's just not clear, but they'll never get in. We have a, like a prison warden who works that page. And I think out of like a thousand people that have taken classes from me, we've gotten maybe one or two that have gotten, gotten by us, slipped by us. So, um, and they gotta be really tricky to slip by Callie. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. We do not, if you pay for a class, we are not giving away that information for free to anybody else. You pay for a class, you own that class forever, and everybody else, just like you, has to pay for that class. So, um, anyway, I hate to even talk about stuff like that uh, because when stuff like that goes on, I know there was an issue a couple days ago, and people were saying, well, if, you know, I paid for that class. Yeah, you guys know me. I will give, I would give all this stuff away every day, all day, if I didn't need a job. So just know, I will always do my best to give you every kind of total piece of information that I can give you. But once in a while, I gotta make some money. And that's how I do it, is with those classes. So, all right, that's it. I feel like we're all in the principal's office right now, including myself, like that. I just hate stuff like that. But anyway, okay, we're almost done. I know, even though I don't mind watching the people paint, I still makes me nervous that people, I just feel like people are waiting. But it's gonna be so good, and I wanted this to have time to dry while we are, um, that could have been an old person thing right there. I can never find my paint plate when it's right in front of me. I think I have sweats on today. Okay, one more. But see, look how fast this is. 30 minutes from the time I started painting, maybe even like 25 minutes from the time I started painting, and we're gonna have these legs almost completely done. And when I flip it over the other way, I'll also see all the spots that I missed. 
and then I'll be able to fix those then because like I said, the areas right now on the legs that are open, that's where the uh, metallic gold's gonna go because I just think it's gonna be pretty. And this is what I always say when people say, but my lines aren't perfect. Nobody's are perfect, but you can never ever tell because with this style, there's so much going on. I just can't wait to get that big pom-pom trim on. So sorry about the headshot. Okay, look, done. Okay, now I can get back up here and concentrate and see what, see what kind of mess I've got going on here. Oh my goodness, they are kind of messy, aren't they? Okay, so uh, let me do a little bit of touch up real quick while you guys are there. What's been going on while I've had my head down? What are we talking about? Uh, you can't get the gold till mid-May. Diana, which gold? The plaid or the liquid leaf? Because the liquid leaf, or the plaid liquid leaf or the Martha Stewart. You can give up on Martha Stewart, we have. Um, Oh, thank you. I, those little areas would take me days. No, I'm telling you, Gina, they go quick. They really do. When you just, well, obviously, and right now, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist. I'm just trying to get through it. But um, I love doing little, little stuff like this because it does go so fast for me. Um, okay. Like I said, right now, it might look a little bit messy. I promise it won't. I'm gonna go through and clean everything up later. But let's go ahead and get the gold on it so you can see what's gonna happen. It's already getting so, so cute. All right, so now I'm going to use the um, liquid leaf. Liquid, we, liquid leaf is $15, oh shoot. Yeah, we're only paying like, uh, what do we pay you guys? Like. $7.99 and then with a 40 off from or a 20 off or a 30 off or whatever from Michaels it's really inexpensive okay so I'm just using a cheap crappy brush which is what I always use for my gold and I keep all my brushes right or wrong I don't know I don't care I keep them in mineral spirits all the time it's never hurt anything I've never I haven't lost a brush yet but it is bad to keep brushes in water all the time. I'll tell you that. Okay, look how pretty already. That gold is a game changer every single time. You gotta be careful though with this gold because it's runny and it will start running. I'm trying to make sure I still got you guys in view. And also, we tried again, I tried again today to do the horizontal view for the camera. I don't like it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me anyway. So, I'm not doing it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. All right, let me put this close to me just for one second and you guys just talk amongst yourselves or something. Liquid, we Liquid Leaf was only $5.99 at Walmart? I don't think I've ever seen it at Walmart. But Walmart is where I got that, uh, the cake dome for my cake stand. And it was not expensive at all. It was under $15. So um, check your Walmarts if you're looking to do our cake stand class, or even if you're not, you're just in the market for a cake stand. Um, it came with the bottom too, which I, don't, I didn't need and I don't know what I'll do with, but now I've got it if I ever need it for anything like chip or, you know, like a dip plate or something. I'm not going to do all the gold, the gold on all the legs, I don't think. I'll just do the two front ones. And then I'll go back when I go clean everything up and finish the back too. Oh my gosh, I can already tell you how much I'm gonna love this when it's done. And you will too, and we got bling for it, of course. Well, I said I was gonna do the front too, and I just did the back one, oh well. 
trust me, if you guys wanna go get dinner or something, it's gonna be boring for a minute. It really will be. Um, it'll get good, I promise. Where am I? Oh, you can see this, okay, here we go. Um, okay, what else do I wanna talk about, you guys? So I won't be here tomorrow, so that's why I'm doing this today. Um, because tomorrow is a busy day for me. And then I'll be back Monday. And now that we've given away, now that Jean has claimed her prize, we have no giveaways for Monday, but Monday is our Monday makeover. And I don't know what we're doing yet, but it's going to be something from my pile of stuff from Hobby Lobby that I got yesterday, which I was so excited to unpack all that stuff today and see, because I didn't even remember half the stuff I'd gotten. Um, did anybody learn anything specific today during that class with Debbie? Um, cause I sure did. Oh, thanks you guys. Do you ever paint on glass plates? Curtis. Um, no, I don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of painting on glass at all. Um, I know other people have a lot of good luck with it, but I, I personally do not. But now that we have the Dixie Bell slick stick, we had that tutorial from today. Then I've already tried it on a ceramic, not glass, but a ceramic pitcher, and it worked like a champ. For those of you that do paint on glass, that's a, kind of a good question. What do you use? Do you guys use glass paint? Um, Let me know what you guys use because uh, I know there's a lot of people that paint really pretty wine glasses, which I would be interested in painting. So let us know. Oh, I got a little overboard on that. All right, one more, you guys, I promise, and then we'll get going. Uh, do you ever, okay, so it's still there again. Um, Anybody have a birthday today? I feel like somebody had a birthday today. Uh, whose lips? <laughs> Are you guys talking about my lips now? Better not be. Um, hopefully we're talking about my, uh, my bobblehead. See, this is why I hate doing these big crafts like this, you guys. But I wanted to get this done, so I thought it was perfect timing, but I do feel like it, it takes too much time away just to sit and do crazy, all these crazy different areas. But again, like we've said, the fact that in like 45 minutes, I'm gonna have all these legs done. So if you guys are painting Tuffet legs, because my mom makes the Tuffets, but she loves it if you buy the tuffet and then you paint your own legs because to me that's just that makes it so much more special for you okay let me get one more right here can you believe the difference that the gold made on everything so pretty and again i will go back and fix it all up okay Look at that, whoops, hold on. Look how cute is this gonna be? Alrighty, 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 I'm excited. Now I'm excited. I hate that first part. That's why I usually get it all done before you guys even come on, because I hate waiting through it. Okay, let's do our transfer now. Uh, where did I buy the, what in the world are you all talking about? <laughs> Callie, Oh, CM's in the car. Now it's a $800 stool. It totally is. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Did I already mention how stinking cute this thing is? Oh, I love it. Lately, normally I don't love everything I do, but lately I feel like everything I do, I'm like, yeah, that was good. Uh, will you need fabric paint when we do the lampshades? I've never used fabric paint on lampshades, ever. 
You guys can if you're more comfortable with it. Uh, but no, I never have, Shirley Ann. Uh, you finish your tea set and it's, oh, good. Oh, now see, I'd love to hear that when somebody said, you hadn't painted in all those years and now it's given you the desire to paint again. That makes me so happy. Okay, look at this, you guys. Let's go ahead and do the Big Paris. Even though I'm not a Big Paris fan, it's okay. Um, here's what I love. You lay it out. This is your tran transfer lay it out and this is the same kind of transfers that Debbie was talking about today and it gives you lines which I love so much look at that so you know you're cutting straight how awesome is that so let me cut this one making sure you guys can see what I'm doing making sure that your back the backing doesn't come off yet till you get it on where you want it. And I'm gonna just kind of do this right in the middle. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my back off. Just wanna make sure it was gonna line up. Okay, let me show you guys. See if I can do this. I've got Oh, there we go. If I line up the bottom, it's perfect. Because we've got the big pom-pom stuff coming in there. Oh, too late. I didn't get it perfectly centered, but I'm close. I think it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, wish me luck. Did you know how good I am at this stuff? So, I'm just embellishing. I'm hoping I got it on right. I know you guys will tell me if I'm doing something stupid. Um... Would you be teaching how to do the diamonds? Liz Carlo, uh, we have got a number of tutorials on our website. Oh, that's the other thing I wanna talk about today, you guys. Um, that post where everybody, where I said, hey, let me know what you guys would like to do, what kind of painting you know, classes you guys would like. I did that back in October and it just keeps resurfacing. So just know, almost everything you guys say you wanna do, we've already done and it's on our tutorials on our website, www.studiomdaz.com. So check there first and see if by chance we've already done the tutorial, which most of these we have. Uh, the Tuffets we're not going to do as a class, number one, it would be impossible for us to do kits and make it worth, you know, make it uh, financially affordable for everybody. And, uh, my mom would have to like sew everybody's, the top of everybody's tuff at first. It's just, there's no good way to do it after a couple days. Um, yeah, it's true. And like I said, my mom will be here hopefully soon. All right, let's start pulling up. Oh, I love these transfers so much. Okay, so these transfers are not from Hobby Lobby. This is the transfer. Sorry, I forgot to put my do, do not disturb on. Uh, anyway, these are the Prima transfers. I happened to buy this one off of Amazon. But Debbie Booker, who was here today on our Check Savvy Sisters page, um, sells all this stuff. So you could go right to um, www.debbiebuckherdesigns.com and she has all this stuff. And frankly, it was all less expensive than it was on Amazon. I still can't get over it. And she does a $10, like a one-time $10 shipping fee, no matter what you buy, if you spend $50. So I got a smoking deal because I spent quite a bit. <gasps> okay, let's talk about this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy right now. I am so happy. What is this transfer called? Oh, that is such a great question. It came with a bunch of birds. I don't know why I didn't keep the name of these. I will from now on, let's see. You know what? I don't know which one this is, but it came with a whole bunch of birds and butterflies and Paris. Uh, <laughs> Debbie Hicks sold. Do you know, anytime I do anything pink, I'm thinking, yeah, she's, she's gonna want this. Okay. Should we do another something on the back? I think we should, because I always feel like if it's sitting at, um, you know, I always feel like the person who's sitting in the back gets kind of 
messed up on stuff. Let's see, which one do we like? I think I kind of like this one right here. So I'm gonna go with that one. How about I didn't even ask again? Hold on. I gotta get rid of stuff up here on my desk. And I have a humongous uh, farm table that I work on. Not enough, never enough room. That could be another t-shirt. There is just never enough room. And like I said, all of this, all of this pink pom-pom will um, hide the first couple inches of... Okay, let's try it again. We did so good on that last one. Gotta be careful, don't let it touch until you're absolutely sure you're ready. And I was ready. This is so cute. Um, the stool I got at, um, okay, I got the stool at a uh, antique mall this weekend, but um, it had the sticker on it still right here, and it's called Simply Shabby Chic Footstool, distributed by Target, Target Online, and it was $450. Don't ask me why, because there's not one thing about this that to me looks like it's worth $450. Of course, except my painting, if you're coming to the auction. My painting totally makes it worth way more than that. Uh, I'm kidding, it doesn't. You guys know I'm the cheapest game in town. So our auction will start at low numbers. It's up to you guys where it ends up going, but I want it to just be fun for everybody. And we'll have all different price and all different types of stuff. Oh, shoot. That was not good. Oh well, it's on the back. That's what I say about everything. Oh well. Oh no, it, it, did, it did it fine. I guess I think it takes a lot more elbow grease than it really does. Can somebody else tell me? Do I just do way too much? Because now look, it's really coming right off. Easy. Is this really all you have to do or am I doing it right? Somebody tell me. Oh, good. Good, Minnesota. I'm glad you like the transfer. Is that where, is that where the riots are right now? $450. I know. $450. Is that insane? Who's paying $450 for a little stool that one of the hinges didn't work anyway? But I ended up getting it for like $17. So I was beyond thrilled. Am I doing it right? Uh, takes into, okay, it does take a little elbow grease because I feel like I'm giving it too much. Right now my back's killing me. I'm doing a huge one, a huge transfer. Oh, yes. Look at how cute. Okay, so we've got our back and our front done. Oh, you guys, that, that is a killer. That's a lot of work. Okay, this is where you guys come in. What do you think? Black and white stripes, pink and white stripes, or more transfers? Need to be heavy handed with the transfers and then burnish. Okay, don't forget to rub it. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on. Gotta rub it down with my hand afterwards. I always forget. You guys, it looks like it's hand painted on. It's insane. These transfers are the coolest things ever. Uh, let's see. Black and white stripe. Okay, so far I've only seen one that says black and white stripe. So do we want transfers on the sides or black and white stripe or pink and white stripe? Now there's a pink and white stripe, there's a black and white stripe. Okay, Kathy and Callie, that'll be the last thing we do. So you guys get on top of that and let me know what they're picking. Um, okay, so let's talk about this real quick so you can see. I'm really excited for everybody to see what this is going to look like. And I, I really, like I said, I just picked this thing up at the antique mall the other day. Had no idea what I was going to do with it until I found the fabric. And as soon as I found the fabric, but how fabulous. As soon as I found the fabric, I was like, okay, I've got a whole vision for this thing. And then look at this. So beautiful. And we're not even close to being done because... This 
is going right in the dead center with the big flower and the bling. <coughs> Excuse me. So, how awesome is this going to be? Now, again, you're not going to let your husband put his big old feet on this thing. And you're not going to let your cute dog, well, you can let your cute dog sit on it. But not your big old hairy dog. But your cute little dog can sit on it like a little princess. Okay, so here's what I wonder also. If I want to glue the pom-pom trim, okay, I'm wondering, do I want to glue the pom-pom trim just to the wood right on those sides so that it sits nice when it comes around these corner deals that stick out? Do we just do it there? Or do I definitely want it? No, it doesn't make any sense on here, does it? Uh, if I did it on the fabric, does it make sense? Or when I pick it up, is it gonna be weird? Let me know. Uh, black and white with the ping pong pongs. I know, I'm kind of thinking that too. <laughs> uh, gold or green stripes, Maureen? No, too much. Maybe though, I, I always say too much. Oh, Cindy, yes. If you had a teeny little dog, I took everything apart, but what a darling dog bed. The front has a transfer, oops, so I'm thinking black and white. The hints of pink are on the leg. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Gina. Um, but now Marcel's saying pink. Uh, Sandy, yes on the wood, on the wood, on the wood. Okay, okay, perfect. Let's do that, because you know I like to just get some action going, but I can't do it on the sides yet. Let's do it on the front anyway, see what we think. Because I do think that's the right way to go on the wood. Who said no pom-poms, baboo? No, Babu, we've got to have the pom-poms. The pom-poms are everything. The pom-poms really do. What's too much? Uh, what will get in the way? So if I do it on the wood, right? Um, glue it to the fabric. Pom-pom, what are you guys talking about? Oh, that's cute. All right, hold on, hold on. Um... Where is it too much? I don't, yes, I think on the wood instead of the cloth. Okay, your toy Aussie, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like it without the fridge. All right, well, for those of you who don't like the pom-poms, I have to overrule you because I, I was all about the pom-poms. Have you hated every single thing I've done so far? Because if you have, then you're not gonna like the, the trim, but you guys have to trust me. I'm. I'm a master crafter, remember? Okay, that is kind of cute, you guys. Let's talk about this. Whoever said that, I think it was Dorling. I don't know who said it, but on the bottom is adorable. Maybe that's what you mean. Maybe it's just too much right here. Is that what you guys are saying? Help me out. Pom-poms on the bottom. I know, that was, whoever said that? You must be a designer, like a master, master designer. Because I think that is super cute. Okay, so far, everybody's loving the bottom. Pink 15, black 12, really? You have pink in the pom-poms as well. I think black and white. Gina, I do too. Uh, I do too. Because I think right now the black and white legs make no sense without black and white on the sides. Black and white stripe on the side, but definitely the pom-poms on the bottom. I'm super excited about that. That was the way to go. All right, we're doing it. This is where I just have to pull the trigger. You guys know that. Okay, so let's glue this one just so we can see, because you know I can't stand it already. Uh, what do I have working? Oh, believe it or not, my big one's working right now for about 10 minutes. Let me get this going. Hold on, I'll show you, I'll turn it, flip it one second. I just needed to get that one piece going. Oh, you guys, thank you. I love it on the bottom. Oh, on the bottom with gold tacks, and I have gold tacks, whoever said that. Great idea. I do have gold tacks. We still have to glue it, but I do have gold tacks, so that would be adorable. Uh oh, okay, uh oh, see, I panicked for a second. Oh my gosh. So I would assume you can go online, if I could find this thing for 
you guys know there's there's little stools. Every time I go to Goodwill, I end up picking up like a little stool there. They always have something. Okay, let me get a good solid stick here. Cut that piece off. Oh, this was, that was genius, you guys. <gasps> Look how cute. Uh, definitely on the bottom, but lose the trim. Okay, well, it's too late for that. I kind of like the trim. The trim doesn't bother me. Uh, do both pink and black on the side. Oh, instead of pink and white, pink and black. Well, what do you guys think? Let me give it so that you can get the view. One more time. Black and white stripe. Oh, black and white took the lead. All right, I'm not gonna ask anymore. Let's do black and white. But I want big, big black and white stripes real quick. All right, I want big black and white, so this will be easy. The black and pink is kind of a cute idea though. Black and pink stripes. Let's do black and white first, and if we don't like them, then I will go back and repaint all of the white with the pink, which I think would be adorable. Pink and black Harlequin. Oh, oh that's exactly what it needs. It needs pink and black Harlequin. Great idea. Um, It might, we might have to do, I might have to, um, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lenora. I usually do end up making the right decision. Hot glue, a checkered ribbon over the pink from the pom-pom trim. That's adorable and I have some. Use a big flexi ruler. I would, but I've already shipped them all out. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hold off on that, you guys, because I really do love the idea of the Harlequin and uh, pink and black, either pink and black Harlequin or pink, oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, it's either pink and black Harlequin or white and black Harlequin with nice gold upholstery tacks in between every um, where they touch. Done, done, don't even ask, don't even vote. It's over, that's what we're doing. Uh, but I will do that after we hang up because we're not gonna have time um, to do that. So, um, I don't want to keep you guys all day long. Anyway, how much do we love that we at least got this far and we love it with the trim, with the painted legs, painted feet. Okay, now let's get this on. So, the way they did it, let me move everything. I'm sorry this is going to run long today, guys. I, I really am. But you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it and see how cute it's going to be. Um, okay. So remember I said that this was, this tag was in it too. This really is, whatever this brand is, apparently it's a good one. Or she'll be arrested for cutting the tag off. What is the point of that? Does anybody really truly know? Is it to cover the manufacturer's rear end that in case it catches on fire? I don't know, I don't get it. But I think it seems more of a fire risk than anything else. Okay, so this came with these. Um, so they had the fabric glued in and then these, uh, stapled on top. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, black and white. Okay. I see we're still voting. All right. That was exhausting, you guys. And I'm leaving the fabric on because why wouldn't I? But let me see if it'll show through. I want to make sure it doesn't show through. Nope, it doesn't. I'm leaving the fabric on. Everybody just get over it. Um, it's all glued down, hot glued down with, um, stuff, you know, uh, batting or foam or something. And so I'm not going to, uh, worry about it. I'm just going to lay it down and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Um, give myself plenty of space and make sure I'm doing the right side. Okay, so this is the back. If that's the back, then I want it to look like that, right? That's the back, that's how it's gonna open and close, yes. Okay. So let's get plenty. Oh, why isn't my mom here yet? Because literally the second she gets here, you guys know I'm putting her on and she's gonna finish it up. Uh, at least this part, because she is a master seamstress. 
and she will do this part so much better than I ever could. Let's see. And I believe, check me if I'm wrong, but I believe that I need to also miter my corners. Is that correct? Is that what you guys would do? Um, I'm telling your mom that you're leaving the fabric on. Oh, I know, she would be, she would, she would probably come in and go, what is this? What is this nonsense? <laughs> oh well. All right, let's see. Like I said, I just wanna make sure I don't cut it too short because I would be famous for that, but I've got plenty of room. And I know you guys, there's a better way to do it, but that's why we're here. We are not seamstresses, we're crafters, and we do what's fun and easy and zero stress. Okay, how great is this fabric? Speaking of the devil, Hold on. Come on in. Hold on, I gotta go let her in. Hi, come on in. I'm right, I'm on. But I'm doing a, uh, we're doing a sewing project right now, Mom, and I a just said, project? yeah, so I just said, okay, look what we just made. Oh, <gasps> Gail, look how cute. Don't worry, there's only 300 people watching. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Okay, mom. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is my mom, Barbara. Can you b bend down and say hi? It's hi. my mom, Barbara, and this is our friend, Gail. She's another Czech savvy sister. Gail, you got a bit. So, mom, I just yeah. told them that you would finish this for me. <gasps> what? Yeah. So, Man. I know. Okay. I just. Really? Well, the way they did it is they hot glued it, uh -huh. and then they put this board in it mm -hmm. to push it in. So, do you want to finish this up? What um, would you do? Well, you're going to have to do on the, my, the corners mitered. And See? Did you guys hear? I said mitered ahead of time. I totally knew mitered. I said mitered, Mom. You did? I said mitered. <laughs> I totally said mitered. Okay, but you got too much fabric here, so I mean... I know, but I was afraid I would run to the end and not have enough. Well, do you want a little bit of it yet on the truck? No. I want it. I, oh, want, then, I don't want any then. extra showing. Okay, but now... Is there going to be a board on each yes, edge? Yes, I have a board for every edge. Okay, well then we don't need to have a fold over because that's only gonna make it bigger. Oh, yeah. see guys, you didn't need a fold over. I tried to tell you that. <laughs> so how oh do you keep God. pushing it so tight? Okay. What? what do you want me to do, glue? Well, yeah. If you gotta you glue first. Well, let's, let's first get it down here where we don't have Oh, that's not how we usually roll. Usually we just say, oh yeah, just get it, just do it now. Okay. How do you know you're straight? You're not even checking. Well, I'm assuming you bought a straight piece. <laughs> well, I'm a, I, you know what they say. Yeah, that's yeah, straight. straight. Yeah, straight, okay. Okay. All right, so here's mitered corners, guys. How do you miter a corner? Let them see, slow, 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 slow. So you fold like, like hospital. It's like a hospital, like you're making a bed. Okay, only you pull it up like that. All the way to the edge. Did She'll do that? another one. Here, let me I'll hold do it. I'll do this one. Let me get out of your way. Why don't you just... Why don't I just take, Welcome to take the show. Over. Yeah, Welcome really. to the show, Barbara. <laughs> okay, oh, so yeah. show, do it again. Okay. Okay, we folded it like this. This is like hanging out straight. And now like if you're gonna make a bed, now see, I was going to cut it to miter it. Well, apparently that wasn't the right. All right, it, go ahead. You're, like you're making doing. a bed, okay. and then you come back because you want it to be even. You want it to be a nice tight corner like that. Okay. Oh, thank God you arrived when you did, because we would have blown. I would have blown this so bad. Okay. Well, get your glue gun. What it's are you right here. using? I got this thing. You're not. You're not professional enough to use this kind of glue gun though, like I am. This takes a true professional. All right, down we go. Okay, so now okay, so where do you want one? Let's get the one side down here. Whoops, I just got glue on your shirt. It's all right, I'll live. Can you do this again real quick? Yeah. Get that corner down. All right, go ahead. Okay. Watch your finger. I see. Careful. Do you want a finger protector? Okay. Oh. Well, it's it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Well, then it's certainly we're not putting my name on it. Well. 
All right, so are we gonna cut that excess off or yes, we don't? Yes, you're gonna cut it off. Later? Yeah. Okay. So After the board goes do on. Do you want me to just go ahead and glue yeah, this down? Okay. Ahead. You guys talk among yourselves. I know. Do you see, guys, this is where I get it from. A lot of the stuff is perfectionist stuff and then the rest we're just like, nah. Oh, I've got a low battery. Hold on. Let okay. me plug in. You're okay. Okay, that's all right. Well, as you long keep as going. I, I'm going to keep going, but as long as I'm here, I just want to say thank you to all of you who are friending me and, and you know, using my gifts as well. I'm so grateful. we got Debbie and Natalie and Meredith and Jennifer and Fran. And Welcome to Romper Room. I know. My magic mirror. <laughs> Did any of you ever watch Romper Room? I think I told Debbie in a private message, I think, that that lady on Romper Room, she used to always say, oh, and I can see Terry and, and Beth, and she never called Debbie's name. And Debbie said, Mom, she didn't call my name. And I wrote in and I told her, but poor Debbie. Exactly. That's why she loves to say your names all the time. That is why I love to say your names. Let me make sure that okay. works. Yeah. We ready? Okay. Are you all got right. your what glue What do you gun? need? Glue? Yeah. In the corner? Or where would, well, you, where would yeah. you like it? Right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why am I wearing the glue finger? Do you need it? No. Apparently I did. Ow! know how you did that without hurting yourself because I'm a professional you are a professional seamstress how great is this you guys this is a twofer isn't it <laughs> really wasn't expected that we were going to put you to work because I didn't think I was going to do this project till this morning well, now look what you did look what I've gone and done I know but not quite right where's your glue right here okay where underneath oh here. sorry okay I'll do it. Let Use me do it. Blue finger. Okay. So every time I talk about my mom, which is all the time, and every time that you see uh, when I say, oh, hi, mom, and it's Barbara Hodges Corona, and a couple of times she has uh, been mean to me on. <gasps> yes. What? A couple times. Never. Yes. When? One time. Remember? What? what? <laughs> oh, never. Here, glue this down. <laughs> Cranky. <laughs> Sure, there was a time. You know, I'm sure I there I, was I, it. Dang it! How are you not getting burnt every because single time? Because you're using the gun. I'm not. I'm just folding. Oh my gosh. Okay. This thing has turned out to be a nightmare. This thing is now worth about seven hundred and eighty-five dollars at least. Glue over here. Okay. Here we go. Let me do it. No. <laughs> uh oh. Well, what, yeah. look what you've done. Okay. What have you done? Would you glue that down, please? <sighs> okay, all you seamstresses out there, just close your I eyes. I know, this look is... away, because this is, this is not how my mother would normally roll, I guarantee no. it. No. We've got glue everywhere, and this, that okay, glue, here gun we go. glue is so hot. Do you care that right now I've got third degree burns on my fingers? Here. Apparently not. All right, I'm going to hold that. Okay. We have made a mess out of this lid, though. Does that matter? What do you mean a mess? Look at it. That? It's a lid. It's going on. What? Is that no, the show? Yeah. Yes. Why? Where is that? It's a, it's a stool. It's a bench. I know, but this is, the, this is the top. Right, but what I'm saying is when you open it. Oh, it's an opening thing. Yeah, okay. you open it. All right, here, glue gun. Okay. Scalpel. I see that you weren't. <laughs> this is we are doing this so messy. Oh well. See, see, yeah, see. <laughs> that glue gun. That this thing. This right. is not for sissies. All right, get that's your for hammer sure. and get these things on here. Then. Oh, I was gonna do that later. Oh, okay. Do we have to do it now? Well, I mean, if you want them to stay down. Well, otherwise. if I had a hammer. Let me see. Do I? I might. I don't know where it is right now. Really? Mom, I did, wasn't it's ready probably for right the hammering where you, where part. your scissors should <laughs> be. Ready, ready for the hammering part? Hold on. 
Should I be? I'll go get one. Just okay. you run the show home. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyhow, this is very pretty. This is very pretty. So has this been going on since 2.30? Making this little bench? This I love it. It's very nice. You would have yeah. done it differently. Okay. I don't I Hold mean on. first of all, let me see how long these I don't think it's you know, these are staples. Will you don't worry about it. No, these are these, Did it go through? Put, do this one, but I don't think it's going to fit on your thing now. See, those are just staples. It totally worked, but we'll do the rest of them at some other point. Okay. I don't want to do them all. There we go. All right, thanks for your help. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> get your bad self out of here now. Okay. Do you want this thing out? Or yes, you can get if you don't okay. mind. Here, it's on your chair. Go. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is... Look at... Look at how, look at how those corners worked out. Is this one funky, Mom? Or is it okay? Turn it. I can't, because it no. only goes one no, way. Turn the whole thing. What do you mean? Yeah, there you go. Is this better corner? No, it's not better No, corner. what I'm saying is, the, all the hinges are back here. Oh, I see. It only goes one way. All right. Anyway, well, we did that quick. You guys got the whole gist of how that works. Yeah. So... Do it nice and neat. I will do it nice and neat. Take a picture. There's no way. What I really wanted to do was to like, um, you know, what do they call quilted or tuft tufted it, it so that the center would come in. But it's already on a back, so there's no way to do that. So, um, yeah, oh, is. apparently, yeah. apparently, what they would prefer for you to do the show tomorrow <laughs> on your own, and uh, maybe I take a long vacation. Uh, anyway, it, it can be tufted. It how? Hold on. Mom's saying now it can be tufted even though yeah. it's on this thing. Come here and show us. Yeah. Well, you need a drill. Is this wood? It is MDF. MDF. Okay, you need a drill. You, <gasps> you go, guys, did you know this? You go through. But now I can't go through the fa fabric because the fabric will go. Well, probably at this point, yeah. So, yeah. once again, here's what I should have done was uh, had my mom on the phone earlier. Yeah. She would have told me to drill through the MDF, and mm -hmm. then we could have pulled it all through. How? Well, actually, what you can do is you just, well, that's a trick all in itself. You need a real long needle. That's okay. a special needle. They come about six inches long. Okay. And you use like twine or something very, very strong. And on something like this, you would like maybe use a, um, a washer or something to hold that button that you could, mm -hmm. could tie it to. But it definitely can be tufted. Good to know. We're not going to do that. But what we are going to do, and I'm going to set this down. How much, are you guys in love with this? Because I am so in love with this thing. Debbie Hicks, you still are you still a, a buyer? Still want to buy it? <laughs> okay, look at this. All right, mom, you couldn't have come at a better time because I would have jacked that up so bad. Okay, so you guys at um, Hobby Lobby right now is where I got this. They came in a like a three pack, I think. Um, how cute is that? I needed something flat, not too big, and then um, in the sewing department. These are all Sewology buttons. Is this a button? It is a button. Sewology buttons. And they're all uh, 50, these are all 50% off right now. So this was only $4.99 and I got it for $2.49 uh, to be exact. And uh, let's see, my mom's tuffets can be found on uh, Check Savvy Sisters. Just do a search for tuffet and you'll see all the tuffets she had, <laughs> Debbie Hicks sold. Um, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Am I chot skiing it up? You guys are both just looking at it like. Push the whole thing down. Push this thing down? Or, or take the center out. Let me take the center out. Not with my good scissors. I was just about to touch those good scissors. Hold on. Thank God I didn't use the good scissors for that. Just use your thumb and see how it would be when you tufted it. Push it down with your thumb. The whole thing. This whole thing? Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But so it's too late. Go, look at that, you guys. Can you see what it would look like? Tuffeted? Okay, this is where I need you guys. Uh, maybe a cool button on the inside instead of a washer. Yes, great idea. Um, okay, let me know. Do you guys think it needs it? Or do you think it just, we just, again, here's the line and here's me every time. Go right over the line. 
So let me know what you think. Uh, corner teaching. Oh, you guys didn't know about that corners. Well, I've been a corner miterer from way back. <clears throat> Had no idea. I was literally going to cut it. Yes, I did say Chotsky. It is a word. Of course, Chotsky is a word. It comes from upstate New York, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, no flower, no uh, no bling. It'll be not be comfortable. Use heavy-duty wire cutters. Cut the button part uh, off the back. Yes, that I, ca I can do. I don't need to. Everybody's saying no. No. No on the flower. Wow. Oh, but now they're saying yes, of course, on the flower. <laughs> no flower, just the just bling. The Push down on it. See what it, wait, push hard. Push hard, see? Then you, when you sit on it, you don't feel the button. So what you're saying, no flower, no rosette. You like it both ways, but you overdo everything also. Kristen Cartagena, that's why we are friends. Um, okay, everybody's saying no, so here's what I will do. I'm going to finish the whole thing, and Lord knows, I'll make my own decision and figure it out at the end anyway. I always pretend like I, I take your word for it, but I really don't. I always do my own thing. Um, what are tuffets? Cecil, tuffet is like a big round uh, stool or ottoman. And um, look it up. Look up Mackenzie Child's tuffet and you'll see they are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And my mom makes them for hundreds of dollars. So they're really, really nice. No on the bling. Okay, what is your mom, what is mom teaching us tomorrow? Um, I don't know. She's a fabulous cook though. It's not big enough, no flour. Okay, I, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay guys, I cannot wait to finish this and I'm going to finish it right now. This is seriously, I think I say this every day, but I do feel like this is one of the cutest little things we've done in a while. So, May 2nd is our auction. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys. And um, thanks to my mom and Gail for popping over. And I will, um, Put bling on the corner sides. All right, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you. Um, I'll see you back here Monday. But I'll take a picture of this and post it um, as soon as I get done. It is my show, Cheryl, and it always will will be. And that that is our T-shirt. We're sticking by it. Of course, I have I have uh, third degree burns, so I'll see you soon. All right, love you guys. Bye.